Well, I'm Michael Howe and I'm one of the Haas committee members and uh, just thanks for the opportunity to record this. It's about uh, the 50th anniversary of Long Tan. That's now, I think, regarded as the significant battle of, world, of the Vietnam era and it was when D Company 6RAR, which was out on active uh, patrolling, was frankly just ambushed by a reinforced battalion of Viet Cong. It was a very difficult campaign because it was raining heavily the radios were really quite ineffective, uh, people couldn't see because of the heavy rain and uh, we uh, suffered quite serious casualties, or 18 killed and over 40 wounded, but uh, the Viet Cong lost over 250. Uh, it was a very serious battle, it could have gone very badly for Australians but the uh, cavalry reinforced with ammunition, they drove 113s into the site and eventually um, you know, the, the company, uh, well, basically won the battle, but at serious cost. But look, back to Haas, today we're flying two Caribou and one DC-3 uh, down over the uh, 11 o'clock commemoration service. The Americans are flying two B-52s from Guam, and the Air Force is putting in some aircraft, I think an F-18 and, a, and an Orion. So, very significant flyover of, of uh, the War Memorial in Canberra at 11 and uh, it also just shows you how significant the Haas collection has become that we've got two flying caribous, uh, we've got a couple of DC-3s that fly and uh, the fact that we're asked to contribute is a recognition of how important Haas is now seen in historic aviation uh, in Australia. And I guess what I'm very pleased to realise is that uh, I think it was two weeks ago the Australian Government has retrospectively recognised a number of the soldiers who fought at Long Tan and my memory is that uh, ten of them are now being retrospectively awarded medals for gallantry or commendations for distinguished service. And um, part of their problem was that at that time the Australian Army had a quota system you're allowed to recommend one decoration a month for every 250 soldiers. So when you had this big battle with a lot of people being very brave, um, they just didn't have the administrative capacity to recognise it. So I'm very pleased that, and I'd like to pay tribute to their uh, CO or their OC. He was Major Harry Smith, he's now Lieutenant Colonel, retired, but he advocated this for years and years and years, and finally the government has recognised it.